I, I believe that we need to have some church discipline. And, and when talking about church discipline, uh, if someone is, you know, uh, refusing to repent of what they're doing and causing trouble, and, and you, you, try, you need to try to kindly deal with them, with these people. But if it leads to nowhere, and it's just destroying the church, in a sense, I, I believe action, actions has to be, be taken. If this is just, you know, destroying others in the church, uh, making things miserable, uh, in some cases, we need, I mean, they need to, if we have tried the other, the other um, methods, then they ultimately they have to leave the church. Uh, maybe for a while to start with and see what happens. I don't know, but uh, so because he says that. And, and the thing is, some people, they may, they may need to, to, maybe there's no other way for them to, to understand uh, that, than being kicked out from the church. And then later on, they, if they repent, they will come in. And when they get things more clear, like a, a good friend of mine told me, he says, for some people, maybe they need to take this extra road outside the church and then come in again later. Maybe that's what they need, as God will gather his remnant. So I, I'm not saying that we need to just because, and, and you know, is, I'm not a judge. I'm not, I don't know, you know, who, who is the, the wheat and the tear. So, uh, and, and I think we need to be careful to even start thinking about these things. We need to lift up the truth. And we have to fight for the truth. Um, but obviously, we need we need to church we need church discipline, um, and we need to to deal with things orderly, and, and try try as much as, as we can to to solve problems. And if you see that there's no no other way out, when 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 people are just keeping doing error and they, they refuse to change and they're causing trouble in the church, then if there's no other way out, they, they will have to leave. Um, but that will not determine their salvation just because they have left the church. As I said, God will gather his remnant. But at this time, if you ask me, now is not the time to just, you know, do your thing and be rebellious and then you kicked out and then you blame the church. Look, they kicked me out. Uh, this is not the time for, for leaving the church. Now the church needs support. The church needs to be, to, we need cooperation. We need, we need, we need love. We need to love one another. And despite our differences, we need to, we need to come together. I'm not saying we're to compromise anything, but we're going to come together and love one another. Uh, it doesn't matter if we have different theological views, we have to love one another. And this is where it has to start. If we l truly love God and love one another, he is going to solve the problems in the church. I'm convinced. Because if we love God, the Spirit of God will lead us into all truth. Uh, and a uh, spirit of prophecy is um, talking about these terms. Church militant, and militant which means fighting, uh, and church triumphant. And she, she's showing how our situation in the church is. We have defective members and we're sorry for that, she says. We, we have our problems in the church. But we have to remember, the church is not the church triumphant at this point. The church is church militant. And then she says, if we are the faithful ones in the church militant, we'll then be part of forming the church triumphant. That means those who are not faithful, uh, they will be sifted out by this great shaking that is before us. And then, uh, and we know that, so... We, we saw that until the very end, until the mark of the beast, the church is going to have problems. So we cannot, we cannot expect the church to be perfect, but that's, then a great shake, shaking will happen, uh, and uh, God is going uh, to cleanse the church. So God is the judge. He's going to do the cleansing. He may use us to lift up the truth, uh, but he, he is the one who judges all of us, and he's the one who takes care of the cleansing part. And... I will put up uh, the, uh, a handout. I will provide you with a thorough study with all of these quotes and, and verses with a few comments and even more uh, about this topic. But uh, it's an important topic, I believe, and I, I, I wanted to, you to at least see some of these things as we face harder struggles in the church. Because at this point, until uh, the mark of the beast, we cannot expect the church to be perfect. If we do, we will just be miserable. But what we have to do, as a wise friend told me, we have to focus, and don't misunderstand me now, we have to focus on ourselves first and foremost, with our own hearts. 
you know, I, who am I to go and point out the faults of all the others and, and, and uh, you're an apostasy, you're doing this, you're doing that wrong, this, I mean, we have to, we have to, we need, we have, we are in the need of, of a heart change. We need to humble ourselves before the Lord and see, first of all, work on our character by God's grace, and then we can make a difference in the church. This is how it has to be done. And as, and as of being more practical, I will soon let you speak. Uh, as, as of being practical, we have uh, doing medical missionary work in, 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 uh, hand in hand with the, with the three, and, three and his messages. We, let's, you know, let's, do, let's do a change, do what you can in the church. There, there will be churches, and I, I have been in churches, and in particular one uh, this past year that had big issues, big issues. I was talking, there was a big fight between mainly two groups, some people in between, and I told them, look, first, if this conflict is going to be solved, you guys need to humble yourselves and start to see where you have erred. I told the same to both groups. I talked with the pastor. I told the pastor this. You need to start with yourself. Uh, and, and this is, uh, we need to understand this um, because this is the only way we, we, we can um, reconciliate with one another in the church. We have to start with ourselves, search our own hearts, afflict our own souls. So that this will be the foundation for making changes in the church, I believe, uh, as we see uh, that things are, 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 are maybe done wrong. And we, we need to lift up the truth at the same time. But we have to be careful with criticizing one another. And there is still time for rebuke, but you need to make sure God has called you to do it. And you need to make sure it's the right time. If, if you feel, you know, you feel forced to give a rebuke, that's usually not... Uh, how God would do, do it with us. Many times, you know, if you see something bad, we may react and, and then it more often comes from the flesh. Even if it may be rightly, like rightly pointed out that something was wrong, we need to be careful. We need to seek the Lord and be sure that we are called to make the rebuke and that it's the right time.